Okay, well, good morning, everybody in Australia, and good evening to the people that are in the UK and everywhere else in the world. And so we are interviewing basically doctors, um, doctors, athletes, and business people, business entrepreneurs on why they are so passionate about NRF1 and NRF2 and these incredible products, and what they're actually doing to your body. So this morning, I have the honor to actually interview Paul Haslam. I've actually met Paul now on three different occasions. And to give you a tiny bit of background, Paul has been an athlete since about the age of 14. He has had two Mr. Australia titles. He's represented Australia all over the world. Um, and currently now he teaches um, PTs at different colleges he has in the past and he also manages a lot of private clients. This man is in demand from some of the top athletes in Sydney. So good morning Paul and thank you so much for taking the time out to be here with us this morning. Good morning G, and it's a pleasure. Thank you. So Paul, I'm just going to dive straight in because it's a 15 minute interview and I know your time is precious and everyone's on here is as well. So can you just tell me oxidative stress? Did you know what this was or had you heard of it being an athlete? Did you understand what it was? Can you explain to the people in here whether you'd know what it was and, and what does it do to the body? I, I certainly did. Oxidative stress, the production of free radicals and free radicals uh, really are quite damaging to the body causing inflammation and a number of other things. They've been linked to certain afflictions and diseases. And basically the, the best way to control them uh, currently was just through diet, making sure your diet was high in antioxidants. And that way you did your best to control the free radicals and, uh, and hopefully reduce all those things, bad things that they do. So what does it do? Like, why is it so bad? How, can, how do we get oxidative stress? Like, can we prevent ourselves? from getting it? No, it's, we produce energy through, uh, through oxygen. We, we consume oxygen that combines uh, in our body to produce energy. And that's, that's how, we all, how, how we live, how we work. The more energy we produce, especially through exercise with athletes, then the more free radicals we produce. Uh, so it's, it's inedible. And when we're young, we can um, control those free radicals relatively easily. But as we get older, the ability to stop those free radicals forming or doing damage uh, be becomes a lot less and we, we start to degrade. It's, it's in our DNA, but that's, that's the way it is. So even if I wasn't an athlete, would I have oxidative stress? Is it literally from just food and the air we breathe? Like, is it everywhere? Is it inevitable that anyone, whether they're an athlete or not, would have oxidative stress? Yes, it is. It's, it's, it's the built in. It's, it's, it's really how we age in, in some aspects. So everyone has oxidative stress. And the older you get, the more oxidative stress you, you, you have because our ability to control that is diminished. Excellent. So with, um, sorry, a sec there. So with um, ProTandem, when you had actually heard about ProTandem, how did you feel about Protandum when you had heard that there was actually something out there that reduced oxidative stress? Um, hang on one sec, I think I've had to mute you there. There we go. So what did you think when you heard about this product that basically switched on the body's ability to create its own antioxidants? Well, it's been the holy grail, really, to, to find the product like that. And at first I was skeptical. Uh, so I, I, I tried it for a little while uh, and it, it took a while on me to actually build up to a level in my system where it did start to work. But then when, when I found that my, my information through my years of training that my uh, degeneration in my spine uh, was getting a, a lot of uh, pain in that area through inflammation and arthritis and when my antioxidant levels increased through the use of protandium, my pain became less and, uh, and I was hooked. Well, I remember meeting you, Paul, and it was back in October and Graham asked me to come along and meet you. And you actually said to me, you know, 
I've been on your product now for two weeks and nothing really has happened, but I don't think it's probably going to happen because I'm such a clean eater. I don't have anything really bad coming in my system that maybe it works for people that their diet isn't very good, but I'm a clean organic eater. So I don't think this is actually going to work with the pain I have, but I like Graham and I trust him. So I'll keep going. And I really encouraged you and Graham, we actually encouraged you and said, you know what, you've actually got a lot of oxidative stress because of being an athlete. And we encouraged you to actually take two take one in the morning and one at night. And I said, you know what? You've only been taking this two weeks and I know you're not 10. And we recommend a month for every decade that you're on earth. So, you know, can you explain what actually happened? And then you even introduced the NRF1, which we will talk about in a minute. But can you actually explain then what happened when you, when you realized and said, you know, I'm going to trust you and I'm going to double up, double up on it? Yes, well, in, in the past, I've been approached by a number of companies with these Kira products uh, over the years. And in my experience, what I've found is that for those people whose, whose diets were not that great, some of these things actually work. But for those people like myself, whose diets were clean, they ate a range of vegetables and fruits, whole grains, that, uh, that they didn't work as well. Uh, but when I started taking two for tandem, uh, my, again, it, it was like turning a, turning a switch on. I, I literally woke up one day and and the, the, the pain I was feeling, well, it didn't go completely, but it was reduced significantly. Absolutely. So can you explain, like people say to me, okay, so big deal, you know, that it makes antioxidants and now we're not taking them, we're making them. Well, how important is it for glutathione production to happen in the body? Why do we need that to happen? Well, glutathione, and again, that's that's everyone's known about glutathione for a long time. Trying to get our body to produce more of it has has been very tough. You can't take glutathione orally; it was it'll break down. It's it's a simple peptide, just made of three amino acids: glycine, glutamine, and cysteine. Uh, even injecting glutathione won't work because it can't pass the cell membrane. So what we need is something to increase the body's production of glutathione through another pathway. And this is what ProTandem does. And athletes, the more energy you produce, the more antioxidants and the more glutathione you need to counteract those antioxidants. So athletes are prone, and really, when you think about it, there's a lot of athletes you see walking around who are, who are you know, almost crippled. They, as they get older, they, they tend to age badly because of that, all the oxidative stress they've had over the years. Um, so this, this is a way to not only combat that oxidative stress now, but I think to prevent uh, maybe that aging process in the future as well. That's incredible because I know a lot of athletes use a lot of supplements. You know, they do. They, they, they realize that they do need a lot of supplements. They need to have a, a clean diet, but they still have pain. And that is what I have been really excited about with this product because it's the next generation of wellness. Like, have you heard of other activators out there that are basically turning on proteins and enzymes in our bodies that were basically went dormant when we were 21, 22 years of age? Like, we're actually just switching on our cells for our cells and our body to heal naturally. That, that, that's how I... That's all I explained to me. We're, we're helping our body to heal itself. This, this protandum, uh, however it works, I don't know, the, the synergy is, is, is there and it just helps your body switch on these, these enzymes and increases the glutathione and other antioxidants and, and off you go. Again, I don't know exactly how it works. I don't think anybody does, but it, but it does work. Well... I know for being on it for three years, what it's actually done for, we've had 10,000 people now in our, in our team, customers that have actually been on the product. Yesterday it hit 10,000 in three years, which is so exciting to know that these people are looking after their health and activating. Now, I want to touch on the mitochondria because we brought out another product 
which is called the NRF1. So this is a different pathway that is there. So the NRF2 is for the antioxidants that Paul's been talking about and the glutathione and switching on our body's ability there. Now the NRF1 is something that's just come out, it's the sister product, and this activates the mitochondria. Why do we want the mitochondria activated and, and why is it so important for us and especially athletes? Well, they're the energy, they're the, the part, or they're, they're called organelles, which is a, an organelle is like an organ of the body. And that organelle produces the energy. The mitochondria is where the energy is produced, where the oxygen, and oxygen is transferred into energy. The more efficient that mitochondria becomes, and the more efficient we become at producing energy, there's less stress on the body. Uh, it's like supercharging your, your car engine. You get more out of what you've got. So uh, for an athlete, having a, a supercharged engine is going to make them perform better in whatever they do. And what about recovery with these products, Paul? Like, would you say that like the recovery would be improved? Because I would have thought that you would have had a, a big depletion of glutathione if you've done, if you're a triathlete or if you're even a soccer player, you know, to have that burst of one and a half hour of full on of sport, I would have thought that your body would have been quite depleted of glutathione and antioxidants afterwards. Uh, ab absolutely. And that's, and that's where the, uh, they both come in and work together. Um, they both help the liver regenerate more glutathione and then that controls the more, the more the more we exercise the more oxygen we produce the more antioxidants we produce and more free, free radicals so sorry more free radicals we produce so we need more antioxidants to counteract that so having these two products as a, as a combo just increases the whole recovery syndrome so you recommend the duo because i do now i say to people i have energy that I've never experienced in my life since I've introduced NRF1. I don't even think I've had this. And it's not energy that I'm bouncing off the walls. It's energy of feeling a real well-being of just, you know, I was up at five o'clock this morning walking the dog. My husband's like, why are you up so early? I said, I just feel good. I just feel like I've had my sleep, I've had rest and I wanna walk. Exactly. I don't think you. I don't think you feel a buzz. Uh, the people expecting that, they, 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 it's not going to happen. But I think your ability to go longer is increased, mm. and, and that's that's uh, that's. You know, as we get older, they, we we, you know, we tend to tend to tire more easily. This this just increases our endurance ability. Those mitochondria just keep working and working, and and uh, we can go longer and a little bit harder. You don't. You don't. I don't think you actually. I, I don't feel uh, a buzz like I'm like I'm like a caffeine buzz but I, I do notice that um, you know I can I can work out longer and harder uh, over time. Excellent and what would you say to people because I have some people that said look I've been on it for three months I don't feel anything so I think I've given it a go I'm gonna come off it now because I'm not feeling it and I'm like well do you feel fruit and vegetables when you eat them? You know, what would you say? <laughs> no, well, I would, I, I think they would feel it more when they did come off. I think that's, sometimes these, these feelings are very subtle. And if you're not in tune, I mean, I'm in tune with my body. Uh, a lot of people aren't. Um, and and so it might be hard to, to feel the, the benefit. But I would, I would imagine that when they did come off, that's when they would feel a difference. That they would notice a difference between being on it and off it. So uh, I, I would, I would urge them to to monitor their their energy levels and and their recovery if they did come off and see the difference between the, the two factors. Excellent. Well, that's a really great answer because there's some people, and I know I probably would have been a bit stubborn and thought, well, I'll see whether it's really this that's working, you know. <laughs> so, so Paul, look, we've spoken about NRF1, NRF2. I want to thank you so much. So do you believe that as well as athletes, that basically everybody needs to be on ProTandem? Now that you've seen this and you've experienced this and you've come across hundreds of supplements and products in your lifetime in the athlete world. What would your recommendation be for somebody that's listening to this for the first time? 
Well, you don't have to be an athlete. The mechanism by it works, I can notice as an athlete, if that mechanism is real, which it is, then it's going to help prevent a lot of things in the future. So, I, really, I, I, I think its its main job as prevention is, is probably more paramount than anything else. So, as, as you go on, you'll actually, you, your body will hold up a lot longer and, and you'll be freer and able to do things a lot longer than you normally would. Wow. Well, that that's it for me. That. That, that's all I need to hear because I don't want to be a 70 and an 80 year old walking around and not being able to do everything after you've worked all your life and thinking now you're hitting your heydays and all of a sudden there's nothing left. So I love that, that we're ending on that. I want to thank you so much, Paul, um, for the interview. We're going to stay